How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Dylan. Thank you for joining me today. So, in my video yesterday I talked about how one of my favorite things about the crypto space is that despite all of the negativity trying to push us down, the real solid projects in the space always have their heads down working, always making revolutionary moves, and who better to make an example of that than Chainlink. Chainlink is constantly building its decentralized and secure Oracle network to provide services to the projects that could, in the future, propel this space as a whole much, much farther. And another thing I like about Chainlink is it's always looking towards the future, and it is constantly looking to provide the opportunity for any space in this new digital world that we're living in to innovate and bring in the decentralized network of information that can be integrated by anybody and can provide genuine value. Not only does Chainlink have one of the strongest communities in the crypto space, it is one of the most consistent performing crypto assets and you can even say it uh, is one of the only assets to in a sense decouple from Bitcoin and the rest of the market and I wouldn't say entirely but Chainlink is the only project that I know of that was putting in all-time highs in 2019 so Chainlink is currently sitting at $18.39. It had a double bottom right at this $15 level and it's currently sitting about 22% above that level and it is approximately 65% down from its all-time highs. And as you can see here, since approximately May to June of 2019, you switch to logarithmic on the chart it has a very clear channel that it has been trading in for about two years over two years now and you can see this first drop down to 15 got bought right back up and then it started a slow descent back down to double test this bottom right here and that test happens to be right around this purple trend line that has been defining the bottoms for Chainlink's price action for the past two years. Now, I mean, it has only had one other touch here of this line, and there were a couple wicks below it, but in general, it stayed inside this price action. So, I'm not a financial advisor, but um, I've been scooping up a bit of Chainlink recently. That's what I'm doing. Now, the reason I'm making a Chainlink video today is because, well, everybody loves Chainlink. Who doesn't like Chainlink? And this article right here gave me the inspiration to talk about Chainlink today because this is very interesting. Say Blow creates NFT campaigns to advance hip-hop culture through smart contract innovations. Say Blow builds on the foundation of hip-hop rather than a specific function of NFTs, i.e. music, digital art, royalties, etc. This key differentiation allows the project to utilize all current and future use cases of NFTs in the pursuit of the ultimate fan inclusion opportunities. The explosive new project has positioned itself as the catalyst of a new NFT revenue stream for all hip-hop artists. Say Blow is pioneering the market of non-fungible flyness. Say Blow is excited to announce our primary benchmark has been completed, which leverages Chainlink's market-leading Oracle network to create the dynamic hip-hop NFTs on SayBlow.io. This initial ERC721 is a unique digital asset created by acclaimed artist Dale Edwin Murray, the imaginative art piece digitally depicts the musician Kendrick Lamar and is a dynamic NFT, meaning it's updated with real-world information that alters how the community values and interacts with it. 
and this right here is where Chainlink comes in and provides value. Mr. Lamar's constant authenticity and creativity throughout his career were considered when choosing the first artist to be immortalized on the Ethereum blockchain. When Mr. Lamar releases music, it is a worldwide event. Say Blow creates an outlet for fans to add value to the rap game by rewarding fans for rating specific skills of the rap artist and contributing to the artist's overall ranking. Say Blow's Dynamic NFTs is the first project to bridge the threshold of fans to stakeholders. Say Blow is the first blockchain home for the hip hop community to connect with their favorite artists on a deeper level than a tweet or a stream, bridging the threshold from fans to stakeholders. Say Blow chooses to leverage Chainlink Oracles as a mean of connecting the NFT to high quality external data sources, since the blockchain cannot interact with the outside world by itself. Chainlink Oracles will replay Kendrick Lamar's official YouTube subscriber and Twitter follower count, which will combine with community ratings to produce an overall score that will live on the blockchain, be constantly updated, and tied directly to the NFT. We selected Chainlink because their existing Oracle infrastructure makes it easy to retrieve any data source and connect it with the blockchain in a secure and reliable manner ensuring that each Say Blow Dynamic NFT re reflects the most accurate and up-to-date data on a specific artist. Okay, so this is extremely interesting. Um, I personally kind of like this because, um, well, if you're a fan of rap music, uh, it's pretty much what I grew up on. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Eminem, some of my favorite artists out there. Um, the, uh, the music world has been extremely commercialized in the past couple of years, and um, there are still extremely talented artists that are popular, but not everybody that's popular is extremely talented. Music, especially new music coming out, in my opinion, has been extremely diluted. That's just my personal opinions. Now, what this project is essentially trying to do is a, allow people to interact with the artists themselves, which is pretty cool, but also give a rating system based on people's opinions, not just how many songs uh, an artist sells. And that is a statistic that can be skewed by um, advertising companies and basically just whatever gets pushed by the ad agencies is what's going to perform well this could all change and so yeah i think this is extremely interesting just another example of crypto trying to innovate a major industry that has obvious problems and nobody is really trying to do anything to fix but now stay blow and Chainlink are all right one last quick little news story because like i mean Chainlink gets integrations pretty much every day if i went over all of them it would get repetitive after a while, but this is just a, another example of Chainlink with their head down working no matter what. DeFi's rapidly growing TVL demands greater security from decentralized Oracle networks that lay the groundwork for the entire DeFi ecosystem. Integrating Chainlink as the most decentralized and secure Oracle network standard not only allows DeFi platforms to protect their user assets, it allows developers to create more advanced hybrid smart contracts that generate more user value. To that end, Alpaca Finance, a leading lending platform on Binance Smart Chain, announced today that it's integrating Chainlink price feeds to increase the security of its growing $1.2 billion TVL. Chainlink, which secures tens of billions of dollars in TVL across DeFi, will serve as Alpaca's primary Oracle solution, enabling users to earn the highest possible APYs with the highest possible security. Alpaca's BSC-based leverage yield farming protocol is designed to offer the most capital-efficient lending and borrowing through platform-controlled, under-collateralized loans. Prior to integrating Chainlink, Alpaca built its own Oracle solution. It was effective but drained our technical resources and was not nearly as robust as Chainlink. No Talama said. <laughs> not a llama. 
That's funny. Not a llama. Is that his real name? Sam Sarah Not a Llama. <laughs> and it's, it's in this alpaca finance. Okay, just got that. That's funny. Now we can deploy those freed up resources into new products that can add more value to our users. He emphasized how Chainlink strengthens Alpaca's commitment to top tier security. Integrating with Chainlink's top quality price feeds reinforces our position as one of the safest yield generating protocols on BSC, adding another important layer to our already near impenetrable security framework. Not a llama summed up Chainlink's essential role. If you're a DeFi builder, integrating Chainlink is like installing internet in your office. It just makes everything else work. And that seems to be a statement that lots and lots of companies agree with. As you can see by uh, how far ahead Link is compared to the other Oracle solutions, it is clear that they are choosing Chainlink. And there you go, guys. Um, I like to have a certain amount of my value allocated to something that uh, I believe is backed by facts. And what is factual is that Chainlink is being utilized by institutions of all types. I mean, when you think about what's possible on the internet, Literally anything is possible on the internet. So Chainlink is looking to bring that everything that is possible onto the blockchain, which provides value in multiple ways from security to decentralization to flow of information, uh, creating a streamlined network. Chainlink sees the potential in bringing the everything that is on the internet to the blockchain and they are capitalizing on it and that is why i go with chainlink all right guys leave your opinions on chainlink down in the comments i'll reply to everybody as long as you're not a spammer or a scammer are you guys buying chainlink at these prices what do you guys think chainlink will be priced five years in the future and if you guys want me to talk about any specific coins, leave it in the comments. I might make a video on it. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider hitting the like, hitting subscribe, and turning on my post notifications. I appreciate all the support I get. I'm a small channel, so every single subscriber gives me a little smile. I woke up and I saw 33 today. I was 32 last night, so to that guy or gal... Hey, thanks for subscribing. Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow for my next video. Peace out everybody.